Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Wait, there's something missing. Hold on. <laughs> so now that there's absolutely no doubt in your mind that I am in fact Norwegian, uh, we can start this video. <laughs> So I drove up from Oslo to our family cabin here last night and it has been pouring ever since I arrived. It just stopped, so hopefully it will stay dry because there's not really much to do up here when it's pouring and misty and as I just said that, tons of rain just started dripping. Are you kidding? <laughs> do you see that? Oh no! I just jinxed that so much. I finally got into my Norwegian mode with my Soto and my quick lunch. This is so sad. We're gonna have to move inside now. <laughs> I was about to say right before it started pouring down rain was that I was thinking of going on a hike up in the mountains but if it's pouring that might not be the best idea. But I drove all the way up here and I really want to go so it just might be a really slushy walk up the mountain. <laughs> been like two seconds since I spoke to you last. I have changed. Uh, I keep on finding these gorgeous sweaters all around the cabin. I have no idea who owns them. Maybe my, maybe they were my grandmother's. I don't know. They're like hand knitted though, they're really cool. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the sun came out again. So I think I'm just gonna go. So we are out and about, and I'm already out of breath. <laughs> it's so annoying because I've been on this like health kick since February, where I've been running an hour a day, and I still can't get up a damn hill without being out of breath. <laughs> Life is unfair, guys. All right, well, I found some snow. Actually, a lot of snow. <laughs> oh, all the way up. It's in patches uh, all over the mountains, so it's not completely covered. But yeah, we've come some way now. Started, let's see, down there somewhere. And now I'm here. Whew, still got a way to go, though. <laughs> now, I am so tempted of sliding down this hill, but if I do, I'm gonna be soaking wet. Is it worth it? You know, it's about to be summer. I'm not gonna see snow in a while. Should I do it? We all know it's gonna happen, so let's just do it. Oh, I'm gonna be soaked. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's not steep enough. Oh, I'm not moving. That's sad. All right, well, we tried. Okay, nothing's more devastating than trying to slide down a hill of snow and the snow being too slushy. And as well, because you did it, now you're all cold. And you had to put on a jacket. Things are going well. The wind is also picking up. I'm probably gonna die up here, guys. Okay, well, I have lost the path. That's uh, <laughs> that's great, and there's a river in my way. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, oh, I'm gonna die. So it has gotten a lot colder. There's a fog coming in from over there, and it is a freezing. So I think I'm gonna head back, just because, you know, you have to respect the mountain rules and number one is be prepared and I am <laughs> clearly not prepared so. so we're on our way back down and I've gained a jacket and a hat because Norway's cold who would have guessed <laughs> Jesus Christ it's a tree and I've just walked off my path but there's a river there I never crossed the river on my way up oh no I just followed the path there's a path the path must have like Ooh, okay. I was joking earlier about being lost <laughs> in the mountains and now I'm lost in the mountains. Mm. Started up there, and now I'm here. But look at this cool moss. I always thought this kind of moss is so cool. It's just like snow. It's so cool, but it's moss. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. Find your path, goddammit. Could this be right? <gasps> is this my path? Ooh. Not my path. I'm still hopeful. <laughs> like, swamps. This is my swamp. You know how in Frozen they have the little rock trolls? Well, this guy is definitely a rock troll. Can you tell? He even has the hair. Yeah, can't fool me. I worked in Frozen in Disney. Cannot believe it, guys. I think while looking at the rock troll, I found my path. Yes! Nailed it. This is definitely my path. <laughs> About time, there's like a vulture circling me. Yeah, he's ready to. Yeah, he's ready to eat me. <laughs> you see him? Leave me alone! I found my path. He's been circling me for a while. Oh no, there's another one. Oh no, this is it, guys. Oh, oh there she is. Oh, thank God. Oh, you guys just missed us. 
but I completely wiped out, like, full on, like, wiped out through my camera. <laughs> and now my leggings are soaked. I don't know if you can see that. No, it's not too dirty, actually. It's not too bad, but yeah, completely wiped out. It's really slippy. <sighs> but yeah, hello, cabin. Looking good. Ooh. Home, sweet home. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I've been gone for hours. I've only been gone for like three. Oh. It's just not easy to do with a camera. Oh, there we go. Home, sweet home. Oh. And I have a whole season of Doom Patrol to watch. So. And that's that's my big plan. So I'm gonna look at my hair. There's no shower here. It's um, it's fun. <laughs> oh my god, I love this show so much. If you haven't seen Doom Patrol, please see Doom Patrol. <laughs> really, the perfect show for me. It has the perfect level of like silliness, seriousness, and oh, it's just so many good actors and great characters, and just oh, it's so good. See Doom Patrol. Good morning. It is the next day. And today has been another really rainy day. So what I thought we could do was actually drive across the mountain that we hiked up yesterday. Just drive straight over. Oh, this is hard to do. I'm opening a gate. <laughs> um, and go straight over till we get to my favorite waterfall. That sounds really lame, but it's a very pretty waterfall. And we're gonna be driving across one of Norway's most beautiful national parks. It's a long drive ahead of us. I think it probably takes Ooh, I would say four to six hours uh, back and forth, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> After probably two hours of driving, I have made it to the heart of Hartangivudam, which um, is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna spin you around so you can see. There is a bunch of uh, Asian tourists behind me and they're so excited, it's so funny to watch. But um, yeah, it's so gorgeous. This is a lake. Uh, under there somewhere <laughs> Also, what is really cool and one of the places why I love this place so much is that let me just get, go out here a little bit closer So over here Behind that mountain is actually Hoth uh, from Star Wars. It's where they actually filmed Star Wars and um, It's really exciting. That's like the one place in Norway they filmed Star Wars so <laughs> and I love Star Wars so That's kind of exciting, but yeah, you can kind of kind of see it, right? Yeah, this is a different planet I'm gonna keep on driving over the mountains here until I get to uh, The waterfall that I talked about which is my favorite waterfall. It sounds so lame to say, but yeah, it's a gorgeous waterfall You'll see <laughs> I'm still on the road, but I just pulled over at the side of the road because there is a guy here that I want to introduce you to. I always drive past him and I always have to stop and just give him a little wave. But if you see all the way up here on the top of this cliff, there is a little troll <laughs> just hanging about, protecting the area, I guess. I remember we once drove past him when I was a kid. Uh, just quickly, just in the passing, I glanced inside and I saw a troll. And after that, I'm pretty sure that I thought trolls were real for a good few years afterwards until we returned. And I was like, oh, it's a statue. I was very disappointed. Trolls are cool. I love the whole troll culture that we have here in Norway, um, which comes from the fact that the mountains are sometimes shaped like trolls. Like it looks like a person or they have like the faces and at night they would come alive um, because locals would hear boulders fall from the mountains which sounded like big roars so it's a pretty cool culture and I can definitely see why people would think that when you look at the nature that's around us here <laughs> I just arrived at Vöringfossen, which is the waterfall that I told you about. I am just about to step over to the edge here. I'm gonna see, give you a little preview of what I see. It's so high. Um, let me see here. Ooh, okay, let's see. <laughs> step over to the edge here and... It is. I'm not scared of heights, but right now I'm out on this little platform <laughs> and it's really, really far down. A few years ago, they actually built these platforms that go along here, which is really nice because then you can actually walk in <laughs> and not die. Uh, I remember when I was younger, they didn't have these <laughs> and it was so scary to be at the end. I usually get to go here only once a year, so whenever I come, it is very special. 
and it's just so stunning like where do you see stuff like this all right, so we just left Beringsfossen and we're gonna go a little bit further west to Eidsfjord, which is a town just kind of where uh, the fjords starts and it's beautiful. So I thought we'd head over there just so I could show it to you. And now the sun is out, which is so nice. It's been pouring all day. Uh, so I can't give up now. We have to go all the way to Eidsfjord and then we've kind of crossed Arangavida and um, yeah, we're officially on the west side of the country then. So let's go. I just had a really good lunch at this little cafe that I found and now I'm literally in the water um, and now I'm just by the fjord here I'm gonna show you around because it's so stunning uh, that it's I just have to show you <laughs> okay so this is a little vill village called Eidsfjord and if we just loop around here it just goes out into the fjord here there's a cruise ship right there <laughs> we're just gonna ignore that right now but let's just go out here surprised that I haven't felt in the water yet but there we go it's just so stunning and this is literally Arendelle <laughs> I'm so happy that the weather switched up because now I'm in a t-shirt <laughs> which earlier I could not have been when I was up in the mountain uh, over there it was freezing but now it's really really nice and it's so fun here because as I said there is a cruise ship here and there's nobody in this town right now except from tourists and they all keep on saying hello to me maybe it's because I look very Norwegian like obviously I'm from <laughs> Norway but uh yeah it's really funny everyone's so polite here and uh, yeah it's just just really stunning I mean come on <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so pay attention to the trees here. Can you see that they've wrapped all the trees? They've knitted like sweaters for the trees. That's so funny. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back at the cabin and I gained a pizza along the way. Um, there is like a ski resort area called Yailu and they have a Pepe's pizza. If you haven't had Pepe's pizza, it's a Norwegian thing. So good, <laughs> good because there's no oven up here. So I haven't had warm food since I got here. So <laughs> yeah, but anyway, here we are back in the cabin. Yeah. I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here because it is getting dark. The sun is setting in the background here. I'm driving home tomorrow morning because I have to go back to Brighton. I wish I could stay here a little bit longer, but unfortunately I have to go back to work. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tiny little insight into Norwegian cabin life and that you enjoyed the places that are some of my favorite places that I got to show you today. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon and have a nice day. Bye!